Hello and welcome to another Lord's Day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Richard Holman, your amazing delivery man. And we're going to be taking a trip today for another special delivery. And we don't want you to miss it. So make sure you sit back, relax, enjoy the ride as we prepare to take another trip. Again, welcome. Today is another day as we get ready for another delivery. I figured we'd stop right here uh, at the coffee shop and uh, have some coffee. If you would, please make sure that as you are coming in, make sure that you greet everybody that's coming in today. Let them know I love you and there is nothing you can do about it. Come on, greet everybody that's coming in. Come on, come on. Welcome everybody coming in now. And then on today, as we are preparing to uh, just have some coffee together. I want you to make sure that you uh, share because sharing is caring. So here's what I want you to do. For the first five people that can share this message and click I shared it, I'm going to give you a free Starbucks. I'm going to give you a free Starbucks. Now I know you say, Pastor, I don't drink coffee. Just take the free Starbucks and <laughs> we, you'll be glad that you did. So for the first five people, I'm going to get you a free gift card to Starbucks so that you can share in a cup of coffee with me even right now. So make sure you click share. Come on, everybody click share real quick and just simply say, I shared. Amen. All right. As we uh, prepare ourselves, I want you to take this time. Let's make sure we don't take for granted that God has given us another chance. So let's take this moment to pray even now. God, how we thank you for giving us another day. Thank you, Lord, for giving us yet another chance, another opportunity to just simply say thank you. Lord, you've been good to us. You've kept us yet another week. And God, we thank you for your keeping power. I pray, God, for those who are going through seasons of sickness right now. I know, God, that even in the midst of COVID, in the midst of all of these other things and heart attacks and stress and trauma, God, I pray, God, that you would restore, heal, and deliver everybody that's going through sickness right now. I'm praying for those 
who's lost loved ones. God, I'm praying that you continue to keep them even in such a time as this. God, as we prepare for the holidays, we know there are some, God, that are going through depression. And God, I pray that you would be the lifter of their heads. Help them to know, God, that they can lift up their heads to the heels from which come with their help, knowing that all their help comes from you. So God, we thank you for being a good God. Thank you for what you're going to do on this day. Thank you for what you brought us for Christmas. And we give you praise in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Again, I want you to make sure you take this time, share this message, share what God is going to do right now with everybody that you are connected with and start a watch party right now. Come on, you can do it. As we uh, fellowship together and just uh, enjoy coffee together, I want you to uh, put in your GPS, get your smart device, your Bible. That, that's your GPS you're going to need for this trip. And uh, the next location that we are going to go to uh, is going to go back to Luke chapter 1, but we're going to deal with verses 39 through 45. Yeah, Luke chapter 1, verses 39 through 45, reading from the NIV version. Say amen once you have it. Hey man, it says these words. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and she greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby in her womb leaped, and then Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your, sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promise to her. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Today, I'm going to simply uh, teach from the subject, Holiday Cheers. Holiday Cheers. Is there anybody that's feeling down during this holiday season? Anybody that's feeling depressed and feeling low during this season? I want to suggest to you that uh, it is amazing that sometimes... It is during the moment where we should experience the most joy that many of us are dealing with the most pain. It is during a time where we should celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ has arrived. That we sometimes choose to look at what has departed. And it is during this season that we know to be statistics that show that this is the most uh, depressing time of year for many people because it causes you to look at what you don't have and what you have lost along the way. But I want to suggest to you as you are watching me today, in spite of what we have lost, in spite of what we have endured, in spite of what we have gone through this year, I want you to know that no matter what you're going through, this is a time to be of good cheer. Yes, as as we revisit the the Luke narrative, Luke chapter one, we dealt last week with the fact that when the angel comes to Mary and says to Mary, uh, watch this, I, I want you to be of good cheer because the Lord has chosen you to deliver his son. And 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 in the midst of what Mary is going through and dealing with. Uh, it is hard to be of good cheer when there is questions and fears and doubts that you are going through. But, but when it is that you have a hard time being of good cheer, when it seems as if you are losing, when it seems as if you are, are, are falling in life, that's when God will, uh, in, will send you, here it is, a cheer leader. Yeah, I'm talking to everybody who's watching because there are people who you, you are connected to that, if we be honest, uh, they haven't necessarily been able to cheer you up. They haven't necessarily been able to encourage you along the way. As a matter of fact, maybe 
they have been guilty of discouraging you. But, but I've come to suggest that in this season, God is about to send you some people that are going to, in fact, watch this, help you to be of good cheer because they are going to be your cheer leaders. And listen to this, your cheer leaders won't necessarily come from your house. Yes, your, your cheer leaders won't necessarily come from your house. Why? Because here it is, sometimes your house is guarded. Yes, sometimes the people in your house uh, is guarded. Maybe if you look at the narrative of Mary, uh, remember Joseph, even during this transition period where uh, he, she is about to give birth, Joseph is questioning whether or not he should leave her because, here it is, I, I don't want it to look bad to everybody else. I, I'm, I'm concerned with, uh, watch this, with public opinion. And I've come to suggest to somebody that, that, uh, that be careful, watch this, because you will have people who are more concerned with what it looks like to somebody else than what it feels like to you. Am I talking to anybody right now? Maybe your your cheerleaders may not be in your house because your house is guarded. Sometimes your cheerleaders won't even be the people that you've helped. Listen to me, because sometimes the people that you're that you have helped are guilty. They they they're guilty. Here it is of feeling. Watch this. Like even though you've helped. When they needed you, uh, won't answer the phone when you need them. Uh, so your help, will, your cheerleaders will not come from your house because they're guarded and may not come from your help because they're guilty. But your cheerleaders may come from people who have heard from God. Yes, your cheerleaders may come from people who have heard from God. And sometimes you got to go to a place. Here it is where they can cheer for you. And that's why we chose now to deal with cheers. Yes, because when you look at cheers, remember the TV show. Everybody remembers the TV show Cheers. Cheers is going to help us to deal with how do you know that God is sending you a cheerleader? Here it is. Uh, how, how do you know that God is sending you a cheerleader? First of all, it says that uh, at that time, I'm in Luke chapter one, verse 39. At that time, Mary, uh, after she has heard the word of the Lord, she goes straight to Judea to Elizabeth's house because I need to get to the place where God has positioned a cheerleader for me. And it says when she enters the home, it says that uh, that that Mary greets Elizabeth. And when she greets Elizabeth, here it is, based on what Elizabeth heard, here it is. It says that the baby in Elizabeth's belly leaped that which Elizabeth was bearing, that which what she was carrying uh, leaped because of what she heard. Is there anybody that knows that when God sends you somebody, watch this, when God gets ready to send you a cheerleader, they're going to get excited. Watch this, just off of what they hear. There's there's somebody who's watching right now that there's some people that God is sending you to in this season. God is going to send you to some people that are not going to necessarily be from your house because they are guarded, not from your help because they're guilty, but they're going to be excited based on what they heard from God. The anointing that's on your life is going to transfer from your voice to their ears. There's, there's going to be a transfer, watch this, from what you say to what they hear that's going to cause something in them uh, to leap. And, and I'm, I'm talking to five people who are watching right now that, that when it is God sends you to a place where God is going to position some cheerleaders in your life. This is how you know it's the right place is because everybody wants to go where everybody knows your name. Yes, y'all, y'all going to rock with me today because as Elizabeth hears the greeting from Mary, the baby leaps in her womb. And in a loud voice, she exclaimed, blessed are you among women. Uh, and, and can I pause here and tell you that that God had already renamed Mary uh, in the previous verses because the angel says, Mary, you're going to be blessed among women. And when she enters the house of Elizabeth, who is uh, already expecting because of what the miracle God has worked in her life, the first thing Elizabeth says to Mary is he, she calls her blessed. Is there anybody that knows that God is about to change your name in this season? And there's some people who are going to be your cheerleaders who can identify it without you telling them what, says, what your new name is. But I dare you to in introduce yourself to everybody in the chat and just simply say, call me blessed. Yeah. 
Because when I come in, here it is, uh, everybody is going to know my name. When, when I enter the room, everybody is going to be able to say, there goes blessed. Somebody ought to type right now, I'm blessed. I am wonderfully blessed. I, I am beautifully blessed. Somebody ought to introduce yourself to somebody, type in their reply to say, nice to meet you, blessed. Nice, nice to meet you. Watch this. Because in the TV show Cheers, every time Norm came in the room, uh, the whole restaurant, the whole grill would say, Norm, here it is. Somebody knows that every time you step in the room, they're going to say, there go blessed. Every time you walk into a car dealership, they're going to say, there goes blessed. Every time you walk into your job, they're going to be able to say, there goes blessed. Why? Because that's where God is going to send you to a place where everybody knows your name. But not only will God send you to a place where everybody knows your name, but God will also send you some people who are always glad you came. Listen to what the Bible says. She says in verse 43, but why am I so favored that the mother of my child of the child of my Lord would come to see me? Uh, watch this. But there's going to be some people who who don't take your presence for granted. Yes, there, there are going to be some people who, who won't take your presence for granted. They they will appreciate you and celebrate you there. There's going to come a time in the season that you're coming into right now where you won't have to worry about people. Here it is who are always trying to throw shade whenever you begin to shine. But what they will do is they will be able to appreciate the fact that they're still getting a tan. Y'all missed it. Here it is again. God is going to send you some people. He's going to remove some people who are always throwing shade when you shine, but send you some people who appreciate the tan that they get standing next to you. Somebody ought to praise God that when you let this light shine, when when you get around some people who ain't intimidated by you, who, who won't have a problem with celebrating you when it ain't their turn, God says, I'm going to send you some cheerleaders. Here it is. Who are always glad you came. Who 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 understand here it is that uh and, and, and when whenever we hear the word cheers, it's always uh, the thought process is always we think about people drinking together. We think about uh, people drinking and uh and and what that suggests is is that sometimes you think that people have to be intoxicated to celebrate you. Here it is. You you, you they have to be intoxicated for you to be celebrated. But in this next season, God is going to send you some people who here it is who will not tolerate you but will celebrate you that that people that who who are always glad that you came in the room somebody ought to praise God right now because you don't have to force yourself on people you won't have to try to make people appreciate you no 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 God is going to send you some cheerleaders here it is that's going to be excited about the fact that you chose to see about them. That's going to be excited about the fact that you checked on them. That's excited about the fact that you were there for them when they needed you the most. Praise God, even right now, that God is going to send you to a place where they're always glad you came. <clears throat> but here it is. But the last thing is this. Is that you want to be where, where you can see that your troubles are all the same. And, and that's what Elizabeth says is what I understand in verse 45 is blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promise to her. Elizabeth can attest to the fact that that sometimes God will give you something that's too, too big, too big for you to handle. God will send you some things that seem too good to be true. But but when it is you believe there, there is nothing that the Lord can't do. When you believe that God is not a man that he should lie, he's going to do just what he said. Elizabeth says, I understand where you are because I had to go through the same process. I understand what it's like to just believe God even when you can't see him moving. I understand what it's like for God to give you something that's bigger than you. But, but, but here it is. Is there anybody that's grateful for the fact that God will send you people who have been where you are? who have sat where you sit, who have gone through what you're going through and are able to identify. Here it is. I know what it's like to have fears and doubts. I know what it's like to have questions. I know what it's like to, to, to question, God, is this really what you have for me to do? I know what it's like for it to be bigger than you can dream of. I know what it's like to have God do something that eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard and hasn't even been imagined. I understand it is that, that, that I'm going, th I've gone through the same thing that you're going through, but, but blessed are you who, here it is, who believes that the Lord will fulfill 
His promise. And I'm talking to some people who are watching tonight that can just thank God that God is going to do just what he said. I don't know what he said to you, but I'm going to be your cheerleader. I'm, here's cheers to you today because I'm believing that God is going to do uh, what's this, exceedingly abundantly above all he, you can ask or think. I'm, I'm praising God in advance that, that my God shall supply. Here it is. All of your needs according to his riches and glory. See, sometimes when it ain't your turn, you ought to be the cheerleader. Sometimes it's not always going to be about me, but sometimes, uh, watch this, I'm not always going to be in the driver's seat. Sometimes you got to be in the passenger seat. If if your friend gets a new ride, don't hate on them. Just call shotgun and ride with them. You ought to praise God that in this season, God is going to send you some, some cheerleaders. And, and you ought to be glad that God is going to send you some people that are going to be able to celebrate you and say cheers to you this holiday season. Holiday cheers to you. I, I want you to know that even in a time of gloom and doom, understand that I know 2020 has been a rough year. I, I know we, we've suffered a lot. We've gone through a lot. Uh, but 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 I, I got something that maybe you all forgot. I know I, I should have saved. I should have said this early, but I saved the best for last. Uh, though 2020 has had some ups and downs, some trials, tribulations, though 2020 has seen some some losses and some some deaths and all these things. One thing that we have forgotten about 2020 is that 2020 is a leap year. Yeah, y'all, y'all missed it. Here it is again. I said 2020 is a leap year and God is about to send you some people. Here it is in this next couple of weeks. We ain't got but a couple of weeks left. But before 2021 gets here, I'm praising God that God is going to do some things in you that's going to make some things leap in your favor. I'm praising God that that that, that your that your job is going to take a leap, that 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 your house is going to take a leap, that that your children are going to take take a leap. Is there anybody? that can praise God right now that there's some things that's about to leap in your life and when it leaps in your life guess what it's going to do in my life I'm going to leap for you somebody ought to praise God that sometimes with the spirit of God will make you jump for somebody else somebody got to be a witness that God is going to make you celebrate somebody else's success why because God is calling for us to be of good cheer and just in case you don't have enough cheer for yourself God is going to send you to some cheerleaders, so, somebody who can see, uh, see what's in you and not be jealous of you. Somebody who, who can celebrate you, not tolerate you. And I'm praising God for all of you who are watching right now. That you might have already got your Elizabeth, that you already that you already get somebody that you know that that gets excited about what you're going through in your life. And, and you do the same for them and understand that for every person who needs a cheerleader, you need to be one. Yeah. Uh, uh, if, if you want to have friends, you get to show yourself friendly. So so you get to be a person who's able to, to be a cheerleader for somebody else. Every David needs a Jonathan. Every Mary needs an Elizabeth. Every Elijah needs an Elisha. Every, every Paul needs a Timothy. Somebody who can be your cheerleader, who can be excited about what God is doing in your life. And today, I've come to exchange uh, this gift to somebody else. Not only is God going to send you some cheerleaders, but he is your biggest cheerleader. God is rooting for you every day of your life. Somebody who's going through life and you feel like you're all by yourself. I've come to ex exchange this gift to you and to deliver this to you is that God is clapping for you. I know you've gone through some ups and some downs, but but he's cheering for you. And even though you don't have a relationship with him, uh, he, he's still your cheerleader. He knows, watch this, that you got some things in store for your life. And, and today can be your day that if I don't have a relationship with God, if I'm not connected to God the way I should be, then, then today you ought to make sure you say this prayer as we extend the invitation to discipleship. Just simply say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe that you died on the cross and that you rose from my sins on the third day. I confess that I'm a sinner that needs to be saved by your grace. Come into my life and my life will never be the same. In Jesus name. Amen. If you pray this prayer, we're believing by faith that you are now a part of God's family of faith. Now, this is a season of giving, so I want you to make sure that you realize it's more blessed to give than to receive. 
So I want you to make sure that you partner with us in this ministry. If God has been blessing you through his word, I want you to sow a seed today because you are to sow where you're growing. So I want you to make sure that you sow in one of these three ways, either through our online website, which is www.stjameseastlake.com, or you can give through mail, which is 7309 on Porto Avenue, Birmingham, Alabama, 35206. Or you can give through Cash App, which is dollar sign St. James E.L. Dollar sign St. James E.L. Remember, you can't beat God giving no matter how you try. Again, we thank you for tuning in today. Make sure you share this message even now. And we thank God for what he's going to do in your life and who he's going to send straight to you to give you some holiday cheer. Remember to spread love this holiday season, spread joy this holiday season. Remember to join us this Sunday as we continue uh, this series on what did you bring Christ for Christmas? And we uh, talk from the subject, God gave us a new song, giving God a new song. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer.